Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Iyer. I recently saw a web series on Amazon Prime titled Reacher, R-E-A-C-H-E-R. This character, Reacher, is a creation of popular novelist Lee Child. And you may have seen, I think there was a movie also by the same name with uh, Tom Cruise in the lead. Reacher is someone who has uh, uh, been in the army, the United States Army, as part of a special force. And then he comes home and he finds something very interesting. Well, what does he find? He finds out that in his town where his brother is killed, he finds out that there is a group that is essentially uh, whitewashing a one dollar note essentially stripping the one dollar note of its color and then printing one hundred dollar notes on it that is see one thing that we have to understand that all dollar bills in the united states have the same size okay now what he finds out is that there is an entity that chemically wipes out the $1 markings and then puts on a $100 marking so that they will buy $1 bills from the market and then they whitewash it and then they put the $100 marking using some special equipment and then they sell this thing out and it, it usually is exporting the money to other countries and the reason Lee Child explains in his book is that 80 to 85 percent of all the dollar bills of uh, United States, that is the US dollar, is traded outside of United States. So the idea here is that not many people will look very closely to see if the $100 bill has the wrong security markings. Because remember that when you do something like this, the, the security markings will still be of the $1 bill, not the $100 bill. But people don't know enough about this outside of the United States. So this currency passes on. As long as the feel of the uh, note feels like a US bill, people don't ask too many questions. So it is not just in India where I have written about how fake currency is uh, uh, you know, circulated among a small community uh, to buy their vote and their loyalty. It's happening all over the world. But the most important thing, this web series tells us is that fake currency is big business and people are constantly trying to fake what I would consider as valuable currency. So whatever we are seeing play out in India, and I'm told now that even the new different sized 500 rupee and 2000 rupee notes are also being counterfeited. This is not going to end soon. India needs to bring that maximum denomination to like something as low as 200 rupees and also rapidly you know, do digital transactions and not handle money. Only then you are going to see the uh, counterfeiting come at least to a, a manageable level. So do read this book and uh, also do watch the Reacher series. So I hope that you now will be convinced that whatever is said as a fictional manner in the book. I also say this thing in many of my hangouts that I had some information that this was what was happening, that Pakistan was exporting a fake currency to India and the fake currency actually looked better than the original currency. Why? Because a certain individual bought the Indian currency paper from the same source as where Pakistan was buying from. So you're seeing all these scandals still coming from the UPA era, for some reason, this government is not able to close these things, take them to the logical conclusion, throw the culprits behind bar, but somehow, somewhere, with the benevolence of this government is striking, somewhere, something always falls through the cracks. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell button.